everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless us. How is everybody doing this glorious day? Wonderfully blessed and highly favored we are in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up today. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your provision over our lives and over our families in the name of Jesus. We take authority over this day in Jesus name. Any wickedness programmed into the sun, moon, stars against our lives, against our families is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. We program goodness. We program favor. We program mercy. We program blessings. We program grace into our heavenly for ourselves and for our families this day in the name of Jesus. This is a day of joy, a day of joy, a day of joy. This is a day of joy, a day of joy that the Lord has made. This is a day of joy, a day of joy, a day of joy. This is a day of joy, a day of joy that the Lord has made. Amen. Welcome to day 20 of MFM's annual 70 Days Prayer and Fasting Program, tagged Prayer Battle 2. We are in section 2, entitled, Thou Art My Battle Axe. Amen. Every dark secret weakening us and preventing us from becoming God's battle axes be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the fire of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, day 20, is the last day of section 2. And at the end of every section, there is a night vigil. So we will have our section 2 night vigil later tonight. Please do join us and the Lord bless us as we do so. Amen. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken. By the reason of anointing, every yoke must be broken. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the Spirit said. This is the day of the latter rain. God is moving in his power again. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. It's not by might, not by might. It's not by power, not by power. By my Spirit, says the Lord. This mountain must be removed. This mountain must be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed by my spirit, says the Lord. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are more than what people say. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are more than what people say. You are good. You are excellent. You are more than what people say. You are good. You are excellent. You are more than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are bigger than what people say. You are good. You are excellent. You are bigger than what people say. You are glorious. You are powerful. You are bigger than what people say. Amen. Our Jehovah God is bigger than what people say. He's more than what people say. He's greater than the greatest. He's wiser than the wisest. He's older than the oldest and he's better than the best. 
us. He is the only true God. Let's go ahead and praise the name of our great God who is the only true God. All the other gods are the works of man. But we are serving a great God. We're serving a powerful God. We're serving a God who is omnipotent. We're serving a God who is omniscient. We're serving a God who is omnipresent. Let's go ahead and praise Him. Open your mouth. Lift up your voice in praise. Let's go ahead and praise the name of the Lord God who is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Let's go ahead and praise His name. Let's praise His holy name. Let us praise His hallowed name. He has a lot of names. We call Him Wonderful. The name that's above all names. We call Him Counselor. We call Him Mighty God. We will call Him the Everlasting Father. And we call Him the Prince of Peace. Bless His name for He is the Rock of Ages. Bless His name for He is the Bright and Morning Star. Bless His name for He is the Lily of the Valley. He is the Rose of Sharon. Lord, we thank You because You are a faithful God. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are the one who was, the one who is, and the one who is to come. Thank you, O Lord God, for being our provider. Thank you, O Lord God, for being our healer. Thank you, O Lord God, for being our deliverer. And thank you, O Lord God, for being our Savior. Lord, we love you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we glorify you. And we magnify you, O Lord God, for who you are. In Jesus' name, we've praised him and we've thanked him. Amen. Let us now repent and confess our sins. It is written in the book of Psalms 66 verse 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Amen. We want the Lord to hear us. So let's ask the Lord to remove, to forgive us of the sin of iniquity in our lives and in our families. Amen. Amen. Let us open our mouths and start to confess our sins. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, show us your mercy. Show us your compassion. Lord, forgive us of the sins that we commit daily. Sins in our individual lives, in our families, in our bloodline, in our communities. Lord, forgive us of those sins that we don't know about. Lord, have the Holy Spirit convict us of the sins that we don't know about. Show us your mercy, O oh Lord God, and remove our sins from us as far as the east is from the west. Any Anything, O oh Lord God, any sin, any iniquity that would cause you not to regard our prayers, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy and forgive us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We've asked for forgiveness and we are forgiven by the mercy and compassion of God. Amen. Amen. Let us now cover ourselves and our families with the blood of Jesus. We soak our body, our soul, our spirit in the blood of Jesus. Anything and everything that pertains to us, to our families, we soak it, we saturate it, and we laminate it in the healing, cleansing, and delivering blood of Jesus. Every place where our feet trod, we saturate it in the blood of Jesus. Covenant blood of Jesus, cover us. Passover blood of Jesus, cover us, we pray. In Jesus' name, we are covered with the blood of Jesus. Amen. I've been to Calvary. I dip my hands in the blood of the Lamb. I drink the blood of Jesus. My life has been made whole. I've been to Calvary. I dip my hands in the blood of the Lamb. I drink the blood of Jesus. My life has been made whole. My life has been made whole. Your life has been made whole. Our lives have been made whole. Amen. Let us now continue with our scripture reading taken from the first book of Samuel chapter 17. We will continue with our scripture confession for this section, Jeremiah 51 verse 20. We will sing our devotional hymns and then pray our praise and thanksgiving prayers and then transition into our deliverance prayers. Amen. Amen. Now, if you want to be God's battle axe, you must be born again. So for those who are praying along with us and perhaps do not know the Lord Jesus as the Lord and Savior, or maybe you just want to rededicate your life to him, repeat after me, please. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins 
and rose from the dead. I repent for my sins and I invite you into my heart, into my life. I accept you, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. Congratulations. You now have eternal life in Christ Jesus and your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I pray that the Holy Spirit overshadows you and remains your constant guide in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us intercede for the unsaved ones in our families, in our communities, who have yet to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Lord, we pray that you open their eyes, open their hearts, open their minds, so that they turn from the power of darkness to the power of light, from the power of sin to the power of God, and experience the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And now for our scripture reading, taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 17. Bring out your Bibles. Read along with us, please. The Lord bless us as we do so. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Chapter 17. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle, and were gathered together at Shoko, which belongeth to Judah, and pitched between Shoko and Azekah in Ephes Damim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had an helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed six hundred shekels of iron. And one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am not I a Philistine, and ye servants to Saul? Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem, Judah, whose name was Jesse, and he had eight sons. And the man went among men for an old man in the days of Saul. And the three eldest sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, and next unto him Abinadab, and the third Shammah. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And the Philistine drew near morning and evening, and presented himself forty days. And Jesse said unto David his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of this parched corn, and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to thy brethren, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fare, and take their pledge. Now Saul and they, and all the men of Israel, were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose up early in the morning, and left the sheep with a keeper, and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench, as the host was going forth to the fight, and shouted for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage, and ran into the army, and came and saluted his brethren. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled before him, and were sore afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that has come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches, and will give him his daughter, and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. 
And Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spake unto the men, and Eliab's anger was kindled against David. And he said, Why camest thou down hither? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thine heart, for thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another, and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, The Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put an helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. And he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had, even in a scrip. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag, and took thence a stone, and slang it, and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines until thou come to the valley and to the gates of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way to Shearaim, even unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem. But he put his armor in his tent. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son the stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And David answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse the Bethlehemite. Amen. Every Goliath 
boasting against our lives, against our families, receive the stones of fire and die in Jesus' name. Amen. Next is our scripture confession taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Amen. Second one says, I have been changed. Well, I've been to the river, I've been baptized, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb, I've been changed from the creature that was my worst, and redeemed is now my name. I've been changed, I'm a newborn now, all my life has been rearranged. What a difference it made when the Lord came and stayed in my heart. Oh, yes. Oh, no. 
Shall it be in Jesus' name? Oh, 
Jesus, thou hast promised to all who follow thee that where thou art in glory, there shall thy servant be. And Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Oh, give me grace to follow my master and my friend. Amen. Now for our praise and thanksgiving prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for drawing me to prayer and power. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for baptizing me with the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for producing spiritual gifts upon my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the fruit of the Spirit working in me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonderful gift of praise. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all the ways you've intervened in my affairs. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your divine plan for my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you will never leave me nor forsake me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for bringing me to a place of maturity and deeper life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for lifting me up when I fall. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for keeping me in perfect peace. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for making all things work together for good for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for protecting me from the snares of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonder-working power in your word and in the blood of the Lamb. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for giving your angels charge over me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for fighting for me against my adversaries. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for making me more than a conqueror. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for supplying all my needs according to your riches and glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your healing power upon my body, soul, and spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for flooding my heart with the light of heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for always causing me to triumph in Christ Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for turning my curses into blessings. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for enabling me to dwell in safety. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all the blessings of life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your greatness, your power, your glory, your majesty, your splendor, and your righteousness. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for silencing the foe and the avenger. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, for you are at my right hand, and I shall not be moved. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, because you are trustworthy, and you will help your own. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, for not allowing my enemies to rejoice over me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your wonderful love. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, for you are great, and greatly to be praised. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for delivering my soul from death and my feet from stumbling. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you are my fortress and refuge in time of trouble. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your faithfulness and marvelous deeds. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your act of power and surpassing greatness. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for dispersing spiritual blindness from my spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for lifting me out of the depths. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for preserving me and keeping my feet from slipping. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your name is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and he is safe. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. 
because your name is a strong tower, me and my family are righteous through Christ Jesus. We run into your name, the strong tower, and we are safe in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost and fire, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my life. Holy Ghost and fire, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my life. Holy Ghost and fire, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my life. Holy Ghost and fire, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my life. Holy Ghost and power, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my life. Holy Ghost and power, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my life. Holy Ghost and power fill my spirit fill my soul fill my life holy ghost and power fill my spirit fill my soul fill my life holy ghost and fire fill my spirit fill my soul fill my life holy ghost and fire fill my spirit fill my soul fill my life holy ghost and fire fill my spirit fill my soul fill my life holy ghost and fire fill my spirit fill my soul fill my life day 10 prayers in the book we are on day 10 section 2 day 20 overall in the book we're on day 10 prayer section 2 amen every enemy of my progress within and without i've obtained the mercy of god therefore die in shame in the name of jesus Every enemy of my progress and the progress of my family members within and without, I have obtained the mercy of God. Therefore, die, die, die in shame in the name of Jesus. Enemy of my progress, enemy of the progress of my family members within and without, we have obtained the mercy of God. Therefore, die, die, die in shame in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my progress. Every enemy of the progress of my family members, within and without, we have obtained the mercy of God. Therefore, die, die, die in shame in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the mercy of God, my family and I receive supernatural breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, my family and I receive supernatural breakthroughs. We receive supernatural breakthroughs. We receive supernatural breakthroughs by fire in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, my family and I receive supernatural breakthroughs by fire in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, by the mercy of God, my family and I receive supernatural breakthroughs breakthroughs by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Arrow of wickedness, preventing my reign of mercy, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Arrow of wickedness, preventing my reign of mercy, preventing the reign of mercy of my family members, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Arrow of wickedness, preventing the reign of mercy for my family and I, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Arrow of wickedness, preventing the reign of mercy for my family members and I, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in the name name of Jesus. Amen. By the mercy of God, every valley in my life shall bring water in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, every valley in my life and in my family shall bring water, shall bring water, shall bring water in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, every valley in my life, every valley in my family shall bring water, shall bring water, shall bring water in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, every valley in my life and in my family shall bring water in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, Every valley in my life and in my family shall bring water in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is written in Romans 9.15 and in Exodus 33.19, God said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I'll have mercy, and I'll have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Lord, show us your mercy. By the mercy of God, 
I shall not see reproach. I shall not see shame. I shall not see disappointment in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, my family and I shall not see reproach, shall not see shame, shall not see disappointment in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, my family and I shall not see reproach, shall not see shame, shall not see disappointment in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, my family and I shall not see reproach, shall not see shame, and shall not see disappointment in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, give my family and I comforting authority to enable us to achieve our goals in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, give my family and I comforting authority to enable us to achieve our goals in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, give my family and I comforting authority to enable us to achieve our goals in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, give my family and I comforting authority. Give my family and I comforting authority. Give my family and I comforting authority to enable us to achieve our goals in this land of the living in the name of Jesus. Amen. Inspiration of witchcraft in my family be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Inspiration of witchcraft in my family be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Inspiration of witchcraft in my family be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by thunder, be destroyed by lightning, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Inspiration of witchcraft in my family be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Inspiration of witchcraft in my family be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All evil thoughts against my family and I, oh Lord, turn them to good fortune for us in the name of Jesus. All evil thoughts against my family and I, oh Lord, turn them to good, turn them to good, turn them to good for my family and I in the name of Jesus. All evil thoughts against my family and I, oh Lord, turn them to good. Oh Lord, turn them to good. Oh Lord, turn them to good for my family and I in the name of Jesus. All evil thoughts towards my family and I, oh Lord, oh Lord, turn them into good for my family and I in the name of Jesus. Amen. You spirit of death and hell, you have no document in my life and in my family. Die in the name of Jesus. You spirit of death and hell, you have no document in my life and in my family. Therefore, die, 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 die in the name of Jesus. Die. You spirit of death and hell, you have no document in my life and in my family. Therefore, die by fire, die by thunder, die by lightning. Die, die, die in the name of Jesus. Die. You spirit of death and hell, you have no document document in my life and in my family. Therefore, die in the name of Jesus. Amen. My enemies will not catch me in any area of my life in the name of Jesus. The enemies of my family and I shall not catch us in any area of our lives in the name of Jesus. The enemies of my family and I shall not catch us, will not catch us, will not catch us in any area of our lives in the name of Jesus. The enemies of my family and I will not catch us, will not catch us, will not catch us in any area of our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, in any area of my life and my family, let not our lives disgrace you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, in any area of my life and in the lives of my family members, let not our lives disgrace you. Let not our lives disgrace you. Let not our lives disgrace you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, in any area of my life, in any area of the lives of my family members, let not our lives disgrace you. Let not our lives disgrace you. Let not our lives disgrace you in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, in any area of my life, in any area of the lives of my family members, let not our lives disgrace you. Let not our lives disgrace you. Let not our lives disgrace you in the name of Jesus. Amen. My family and I will not be victims of failure 
and we will not bite our fingers for any reason in the name of Jesus. My family and I will not be victims of failure, will not be victims of failure, and we will not bite our fingers for any reason in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my family and I will not be victims of failure, we will not be victims of failure, and we will not bite our fingers for any reason in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, my family and I will not be victims of failure, we will not be victims of failure, and we will not bite our fingers for any reason in the name of Jesus. Amen. I refuse to be a candidate of the spirit of amputation in the name of Jesus. My family and I refuse, refuse, we refuse to be candidates of the spirit of amputation in the name of Jesus. My family and I refuse, my family and I refuse, my family and I refuse to be candidates of the spirit of amputation in the name of Jesus. My family and I refuse, my family and I refuse, my family and I refuse to be candidates of the spirit of amputation in the name of Jesus. My family and I refuse, we refuse we refuse to be candidates of the spirit of amputation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every day of my life, I shall move to higher ground in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life and the lives of my family members, we shall move to higher ground. We shall move to higher ground. We shall move to higher ground by fire in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life, every day of the lives of my family members, we shall move to higher ground. We shall move to higher ground. We shall move to higher ground in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life, every day of the lives of my family members, we shall move to higher ground. We shall move to higher ground. We shall move to higher ground by fire in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life, every day of the lives of my family members, we shall move to higher ground by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every day of my life, I shall disgrace all my seven pursuers in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life and the lives of my family members, we shall disgrace, we shall disgrace, we shall disgrace all our stubborn pursuers in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life, every day of the lives of my family members, we shall disgrace, we shall disgrace, we shall disgrace all our stubborn pursuers in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life, every day of the lives of my family members, we shall disgrace, we shall disgrace, we shall disgrace all our stubborn pursuers by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, make me a power generator in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, make my family members and I power generators in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, my Father, my Maker, make my family and I power generators in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, my Father, my God, make my family and I power generators, make my family and I power generators, make my family and I power generators in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, my Father, my Maker, make my family members and I power generators in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let divine accuracy come into my life and operations in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let divine accuracy come into my life and my family and our operations in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, let divine accuracy, let divine accuracy come into my life and my family and our operations in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, let divine accuracy come into my life, let divine accuracy come into the lives of my family members and our operations in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, let divine accuracy, let divine accuracy come into my life and into my family and our operations in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every false testimony against my life and my family be exposed and be crushed in the name of Jesus. 
every false testimony against my life and my family be exposed and be crushed, be exposed and be crushed, be exposed and be crushed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every false testimony against my life and my family be exposed and be crushed, be exposed and be crushed, be exposed and be crushed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every false testimony against my life and against my family be exposed and be crushed by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Evil hands that have been working in the shadow for my downfall shall be used to raise me higher in the name of Jesus. Evil hands that have been working in the shadow for the downfall of my family and I shall be used to raise us higher, shall be used to raise us higher, shall be used to raise us higher in the name of Jesus. Evil hands that have been working in the shadow for the downfall of my family and I shall be used to raise us higher, shall be used to raise us higher, shall be used to raise us higher by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil hands that have been working in the shadow for the downfall of my family and I shall be used to raise us higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, turn the curses of my enemies upon their own heads in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the curses of my enemies turn upon their own heads in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said that the mischief of the enemies shall return upon their own heads in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, turn the curses of my enemies, turn the curses of the enemies of my family members upon their own heads, upon their own heads, upon their own heads by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, turn the curses of my enemies, turn the curses of the enemies of of my family members upon their own heads, upon their own heads by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of beating about the bush without making results, release me and die in the name of Jesus. Spirit of beating about the bush without making results, release my family and I and die. Release my family and I and die. Release us, release us. Release my family and I and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Spirit of beating about the bush without making results, release my family and I and die. Release my family and I and die. Release my family and I and die in the name of Jesus. Spirit of beating about the bush without making results, Release my family and I, release my family and I, release my family and I and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Spirit of beating about the bush without making results, release my family and I and die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Follow, follow spirit, using my shadow to track me. Go blind and be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Follow, follow spirit using the shadows of my family and I to track us. Go blind and be paralyzed. Go blind and be paralyzed. Go blind and be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Follow, follow spirit using the shadows of my family and I to track us. Go blind and be paralyzed. Go blind and be paralyzed. Go blind and be paralyzed by fire in the name of Jesus. Follow, follow spirit using the shadows of my family and I to track us. Go blind and be paralyzed by fire in Jesus name. Amen. Thou power of go slow in my life, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thou power of go slow in my life and in my family, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thou power of go slow in my life and in my family, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thou power of go slow in my life and in my family, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thou power of go slow in my life and in my family, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of thou shall not shine, die in the name of Jesus. Thou spirit of thou shall not shine, die, 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 die in the name of Jesus, die. Thou spirit of thou shall not shine, 
Die by fire. Die by thunder. Die, die, die. Die in the name of Jesus. Die. We shall shine by fire in the name of Jesus. The glory of God in our lives shall shine in Jesus' name. The glory of God in the lives of our family members shall shine in Jesus' name. Thou power of spirit of thou shall not shine. Die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every load of darkness that will not allow my family and I to succeed, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every load of darkness that will not allow my family and I to succeed, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every load of darkness that will not allow my family and I to succeed, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every load of darkness that will not allow my family and I to succeed, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every owner of the load of darkness, carry a load by fire in Jesus name. Amen. Load of the wicked elders residing in my body. Come out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Load of the wicked elders residing in my body and in the bodies of my family members. Come out and catch fire. Come out and catch fire. Come out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Load of the wicked elders residing in my body and in the bodies of my family members. Come out and catch fire. Come out and catch fire. Come out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Load of the wicked elders residing in my body and in the bodies of my family members. Come out and catch Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every load of the wicked elders that has constituted evil for my head, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Every load of the wicked elders that has constituted evil for my head and the heads of my family members, go back to your senders, go back to your senders, go back to your senders by fire in the name of Jesus. Every load of the wicked elders that has constituted evil on my head and on the heads of my family members, go back to your senders, go back to your senders, go back to your senders by fire in the name of Jesus. Every load of the wicked elders that has constituted evil on my head and on the heads of my family Family members, go back to your senders by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fire of God, dry up all evil rivers, keeping the source of my problems in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, dry up, dry up, dry up all evil rivers, keeping the source of the problems of my family and I in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, fire of God, dry up, dry up, dry up all evil rivers, keeping the source of the problems of my family and I in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, dry up, dry up, dry up all evil rivers, keeping the source of the problems of my family and I in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The 70 Days Prayer and Fasting Program is brought to us by Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries International under the leadership of Dr. D.K. Olukoya. Let us thank God for the life of Dr. Olukoya, for the life of his dear wife and the lives of their children. We soak them in the blood of Jesus and we envelop them in the fire of the Holy Ghost. They will not faint, nor will they grow weary in their divine assignment. Oh Lord, let your hand of mercy, let your hand of grace never depart from them in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, continue to make our general overseer a power generator in the name of Jesus and Lord every day of his life take him to higher ground in the name of Jesus oh Lord you said that you'll build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it in Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen thank you Jesus amen we soak our prayers, we soak the answers to our prayers, and we soak our testimonies in the blood of Jesus. Wicked elders gathering against our prayers, gathering against our testimonies, scatter, scatter, scatter by fire, never to regroup in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah, turn us into fire. God of Elijah, turn us into fire. God of Elijah, turn us into fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow us. Holy 
Spirit, overshadow us. Holy Spirit, overshadow us and our families in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, prove yourself in our lives and in the lives of our family members daily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us say the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Three glorious hallelujahs for what the Lord has done and will continue to do for us and our families in this program. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Thank you for praying along with us. Have a wonderful day. We do have our night vigil tonight. We do have our section two night vigil tonight. So please do join us. The prayers will be posted. So please do join us. We will see you then. Thank you, Jesus. Have a blessed day, everybody. God bless us. Amen. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? God of Elijah, your name is your God. Your name is God. God of Elijah, you are the mighty, mighty man, of man of war. God of Elijah, you answer by fire. God of Elijah, you are the real God. You are God, there is no doubt about that. You are big and strong, you are the mighty God, mighty man of war that has never lost any battle. You are the woman I me, consuming fire, mysterious and powerful God, you are the real God. God of Elijah, God of Elijah, your name is God, God of Elijah, you are the mighty man you are the of war. Mighty Man of God war. Of Elijah, you answer by fire. You answer by God fire. Elijah, you are the, the real God. God. You are God that fights and answers by fire. You are fearless. You are the rock. You are the God of all flesh. You are the divine supplier, divine provider. Among other gods, your power is the friend. Miraculous and wonderful, you are the real God. God of Elijah, your name is your God. Your name is God. God of Elijah, you, you are, are the Alpha and war. Omega. God of Elijah, you are the God of Elijah that has us by fire. God of Elijah, you are, you are the, are the real, real God. God. Where well, is the Lord God of Elijah? Consume me fire that no enemy can stand. God of Elijah, come and answer your name. Elijah. You have done it before, you will do it again and again. God of Elijah, God of Elijah come and answer your name. Elijah. As a God that puts enemies to shame, God of Elijah, God of Elijah come and answer your name. Aside you, there is no other God that can say and come to pass. God of Elijah, come and answer your name in my life. Answer by fire. God of Elijah, come and answer your name in my life. As a divine provider, answer your name in my life. God of Elijah, come and answer your name in my life. You are the God of Olukoya, answer your name in my life. Elijah, come and answer your name. Answer your name 
as a strong man in my life. God of Elijah, come and answer your name. You Big God, you are prove yourself in my life. Eh? God of Elijah, come and answer your name. Elijah, God of Elijah, come and answer your name in my life.